Welcome back. 615 here on the dot. Turning now to today's business report. The government says most FDA approved Alzheimer's drugs will be covered by Medicare. And it's jobs report today coming out. Jane King is live at the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. It is the first Friday of the month. Hi, well done, Caitlin. Yes, that's right. Uh, every first Friday of the month, we get these monthly jobs reports, and we do expect another strong month of hiring in May. So the U.S. likely added about 190,000 jobs last month, and the unemployment rate, economists believe, inched higher to 3.5%. So that number comes out 8.30 this morning. Well, FDA-approved drugs for Alzheimer's will likely be covered by Medicare. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services said it will require physicians collect data on how well the drugs perform in the real world. Two new Alzheimer's drugs are currently available, but only to patients who are enrolled in clinical trials. And having kids isn't cheap. Smart Asset says it costs about $21,000 a year for a child. That is a nationwide average. It does vary widely depending on where you live. California had five of the most expensive cities for children. Now, child care alone was half of the annual cost of raising a child. And stocks rose yesterday as the debt ceiling bill was passed by the House. Of course, the Senate did so last night. Both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ are at the highest level since August. And today, looks like we're going to start on a positive note, up about 150 points. Life at the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jane. We appreciate that very much. It's six